All right, so let's move on to something uh, slightly, maybe more positive. Okay. Highest average income. Highest average income from where you would live. District of Columbia at $88,702. Then you have Massachusetts, Connecticut, New Jersey, and New York. Okay. D- District of Columbia, D.C. And the only reason that that number is so high and so skewed is because it is all of the members of Congress who just gave themselves a 21% pay increase as well as all the lobbyists and everything down there that make $400,000 a year. Right. Right. Yep. And and all other government workers that, that live in that area. Yeah. Well, if, you, if, if you're like... If you're working at the Pentagon, more or less, you're probably living in Virginia somewhere. Right. If, yeah, I mean... But you, you get paid out of D.C. Uh, you can live you can live in Virginia, but your your paycheck is coming out of D.C. Oh, uh, okay. Uh, well, no, I mean, the Pentagon is located in Virginia. It's not located okay. in D.C. Yeah, I'm not, a, I'm not 100% sure of that. Um, I'm 99% positive. Okay. That's true. But so being with all those numbers, are you going to stick with Texas? Texas, yeah, Texas. All right. I tend to say that I would. I like their gun laws. Prefer okay, gun laws. I mean, West Virginia has open carry. So it's Texas. Yeah, Texas has open carry. I I think Tennessee also has open carry, and I would say that it would be between Texas or not Texas. It would be between um, West Virginia. And Tennessee for me, mainly based upon climate, because Texas is hot as shit, and I do not like hot weather. Yeah, I, I don't have a problem with the hot weather, though. Right. That's... Actually, I'd rather sweat than freeze. So. I would I would rather have it be cold. I Like, basically between the two, I would... Would I rather sweat to death or freeze to death? I would rather probably... Freeze to death because you just pass out into a coma and you die. <laughs> well, at the same point in time, you, you're not going to sweat to death as long as you keep, you know, intaking water. You could, have, you would have a heat stroke. That that that. I mean, ace air conditioning is going to be vital, obviously, in Texas. Right. But. Right. Um, I, I'm still going to say that I would prefer Tennessee. Uh, just uh, Tennessee. I mean, Tennessee and West could Virginia, be an interesting. Times. There's mountains in Tennessee as well. I mean, there's mount, probably mountains in most states. I would say. I mean, I don't give a shit about the mountains. I do. I I want to walk out. I want to walk out my front door and just see like nature, nature at its grandest. And I believe mountains fits that profile. Well, I mean, you can still see nature in Texas too. It's just like open, like plains kind of nature. It's I mean, different, that's, that's different not really my thing. Nature. Though, you yeah. can watch the tumbleweed and everything, you know, <laughs> blowing around out in your right. yard and shit. Right. I'm still going. It's with different Texas. kind of nature. Yeah. I'm going I mean, with Tennessee. Tennessee is going to be Tennessee or West Virginia is going to be my thing. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. I don't know. I, I, I'm not down with West. Virginia. I mean, I, I'm not really down with West Virginia. It still gets cold in the winter. Tennessee still kind of gets. It's mild. Tennessee and West Virginia are mild climates. They're like the in-between climates, between cold and hot. No, I don't think so, because West Virginia is directly right to next to Maryland. So right. it's got to be a very similar climate. Exactly. Yeah, Mar- yeah, I, Maryland's not really a mild climate. I would consider Maryland a mild climate. No, it gets it's, cold it's, it's summer, extremely but... hot in the summer with humidity and everything, and it's extremely cold in the winter. With temperature. Do you think it slightly changes because we're, they're not next to the ocean, though? I, I See, I don't have to answer for that. I would have to... You always um, put your pen in your cup? That would be terrible. <laughs> I would have to do um, analysis. Right. But what I can tell you is that in the winter, it very rarely goes below freezing in right. Texas. I, I, I would agree with that. But when it does, they, <laughs> they can't even power their own... <laughs> Houses, because... Uh, yes, well, I mean, they, I'm sure they learned a lot from that one. Yeah, I'm sure they did. There, there, you know, ice storm that happened, what was that, like two years ago, yeah, three years ago, something, something like, like that? Right. Seems like any time something big happens... Also, Texas is on its own power grid. Did you know that? I did not know that. There you go, you heard it here first. So, 
I'm going Tennessee, West Virginia, you're going Texas. So now we're moving. Let's get even a little bit bigger here. Now we're moving to the world. Anywhere, world stage. Yep. Anywhere that if you had to move out of the United States, so you had to move out of Maryland, you had, or you had to move out of where we live now, you had to move uh, out of Maryland, then you have to move um, out of the United States. Are you asking me where I'm going? Where are you moving to out of the United States? I'm going to Latin America. You're going to Latin I'm America. I'm either going to, okay, Mexico, um, Honduras. Honduras. I got I got a couple friends down in Honduras. Uh, Shout out Honduras. Or South America. Okay. One of those three places. Is there specific reasons? Like I said, I got friends in Honduras. Okay. So, I, you know, I'm, I'm fairly certain that, you know, they do their best to keep me alive. Right. I mean, obviously, I do know a little bit of, like, broken Spanish. I can pick up, like, every fourth word. Right. And everything. So I know enough not to get stabbed. We'll just say. <laughs> and on top of that, I think it, I think I, I, it would I, be a business that, opportunity because I, think I would start my own drug cartel. <laughs> I think there's a lot of people in Latin America that speak perfect Latin America but still get stabbed. <laughs> I mean, that's probably a fair assessment, but... <laughs> What I'm just saying is I know what it'll be coming. All right. From a group of guys. Then I got to fucking fend myself. Or, you know, defend myself. Right. So you're going to go to you're gonna go to Latin America and you're going to start your own drug cartel. That's correct. You heard it here first. <laughs> I'm waiting for the FBI to knock on the door and be like, what the fuck? All right. I think... Where are you going? I think I'm moving to Siberia. Oh, one, <laughs> one, other, one other thing I will say is I love Latin food. And I think Latin women are one of the most beautiful creatures on the face of the earth. Okay. So. They have, zap, they have apps for that. <laughs> Fair enough. But I don't want to stay around. Right. So why would, I, why would I put roots down here? Right. Okay, so this is why I'm saying like Siberia. It's not, spe it's not especially because it's Russia or anything. It's because it's a sparsely lived in land. There's not a lot of people that live there. I want to be near a mountain. I want to be able to fish for my own food, and I want to be able to hunt for my own food. What if, okay, my question here would be: What are you going to do when it's like negative sixty outside? Everybody Fahrenheit. Right. Everybody ha everybody has their own way and you have to you ha anywhere you move, you have to learn the the not only the culture of where the, where you're living, but you also have to learn the survival of and 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 even like you said if you, if you're if you're going to start your own drug cartel in in Latin America, you're going to have to learn <laughs> The culture and survival of that area, just as much as you would have to learn the culture it's and survival right, of Siberia, right? <laughs> so, I mean, I don't think there's that, uh, definitely very opposite differences on how you would learn and, okay. and be able to uh, survive those areas. But all right, so you're just gonna go up to the locals with like you know a case of vodka and be like, "Hey, teach me how to not to freeze to death." I think that would work actually. I, I actually did. <laughs> That's what I asked. <laughs> I mean, is that part of the plan? Are you going it to? It is now. <laughs> it's now it's part of the plan. You're teaching me how to. Now you taught me how to survive in Siberia. You just go up to a local, you give him a case of vodka, and be like, "Hey, teach me how not to die out here." <laughs> what um, hmm. what Siberia, man? What the fuck? <laughs> It's away from everybody. It's away from everything. Uh, I, 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 too cold, man. I ain't coming to visit you. Sorry, buddy. No fucking <laughs> Not way. Not even in the summer? No fucking Summer in Siberia is probably like fucking 20 degrees Fahrenheit. <laughs> Maybe lower Siberia then. <laughs> I, 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 I mean, I don't know. I would have to, like I said, hey, no. Look, unless it's 70 degrees, guess what? Go fuck yourself. <laughs> Motherfucker, come down and hang out with me in my fucking villa and everything while I'm fucking, you know, moving like 
10 kilos of I'll make sure I, I'll something. make sure I bring my stab vest because I don't know how to speak the language. <laughs> It'll be all right. But right. it'll be all right. Uh, fucking, you know, Alex will take care of you. Okay. I don't know who Alex is. Don't worry about. It. <laughs>